Tonka Tales, part one. Take one. Yeah. So anyway. What was I talking about? Put the, the pit wave wasted thing, you know, getting back to... Oh, yes. This guy came over here, um, Mark Wheatley. I, 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 he used to follow us around in UFO for when he was like... When I was in a band with Shank in 74, he'd come and see us with shorts on from high school, you know, like 15 or 16. When he left work, left school, went to work, uh, he ended up... Uh, taking his two weeks off every year on the British tour so he could go to every show. So it's all started with Facebook, right? So this guy from being friending me and I was like, I don't know, this Taz Taylor guy, I don't friend people I don't know. You know, what's the point in having 10, 15,000 friends? Uh, and uh, so he sent me a text uh, or a messenger thing uh, saying that this Mark Wheatley is in Florida, in Sanford. Um, and he's a friend of Pete's, could you call him here's his number? So I did. So we met him at the local pub, uh, and he said, um, you can't, you'll, you'll know me when you see me. <laughs> I couldn't fucking, I said, it's been like 40 years or 35, years. people do change. Um, anyway, he ended up spending the night, and he said, I really love it here. C cut long story short, he moved here. He's still here, and he's still there here now. He never, he don't want to ever go back to Brighton. Uh, so uh, he was the one that hooked me and Peter, and because he's been, he promoted a bunch of UFO gigs over there as well. I mean, around Brighton and down at Southampton, this kind of stuff. And it was all kind of Mark's fault, <laughs> in a way. Uh, but uh, anyway, it worked out that uh, uh, he was talking about when UFO filled announced while he was here that he was going to retire. When UFO actually to finish the thing, um, that's the perfect opportunity for this wasted thing uh, to, to, to do it about a month after. He said, I'll be at every single UFO game handing out flyers. He said, you have a built-in audience right there. Yeah. Uh, so there was a lot kind of put on this British trip. You know what I mean? Right, there yeah, was yeah, a lot yeah. of onus yeah. on this thing. And he said, okay, we could get the venues now. He said, I got two promoters in the other parts of the, in other parts of the country. And you can always pull the gigs, but you have to book them now because if they book so advanced, far yeah. ahead, you know, I mean, they're yeah. advertising shit already for like, you know, the UFO last tour will probably be advertised in the next six weeks or, yeah. you know, for, for next. So he said, when do you think it would be? I said, you know, well, it always used to be in, in the winter because of the American tour would follow in February. It would always be January right after Christmas. But I mean, they don't like touring at that age now when it's snowing out and stuff like that. They'd probably wait for it to be more like April or, you know what I mean, March or, you know, spring. Mm. I could see that one. Europe and, and the US, going into the US. So uh, it was all going to be based on when they announced their dates. We're going to jump straight in right behind it. But unfortunately, not to be because... <laughs> You, You've got to be careful what you say. Now, yeah, I know. I was just going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Parkinson interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, so that was where that was going. Yeah. And right. I spoke to Andy. He said they haven't got any days booked in Florida yet. Uh, but um, I'll keep in touch with him and find out yeah. where they're doing. Because, yeah. you know, uh, Dave Ling put a thing uh, up about having m other members from UFO on the last tour. Yeah. Like me and Michael and Pete and whoever else, Neil and stuff, whatever. But Phil was like, no Pete, no Michael, no. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, no, we don't want anything to be close wow. to him. Uh, but uh, David said, well, you're a different, you've never really had any beefs with Phil about what they have. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Except for the punch up I told you about yeah, in, yeah. <laughs> in, in Poland. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was all kind of set to go like that. And I still think there could be something done, but not with Pete. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't know. I, I want to focus more on this PCP thing. Yeah. Paul Chapman put his PCP. I think it's kind of cool. It is cool. Mm. So uh, that's where I would go with that. Okay. Yeah. And wind wind up the first ever. Mm -hmm. What do we call it? Tonka Tales. Tonka Tales. Tonka Tales Part Two coming up soon, folks. <laughs>